Imagine that you have a warehouse full of machinery and it's your job to make sure that it's running productively. What you'd want is some way of knowing well what each machine's doing, how long it's going to be doing it for, when it will be done and if it's having any challenges. And that's basically what Forgeor is. So manufacturers quite often find themselves reaching their, their capacity within their shop floor. And they think that often the only way to expand that capacity is to add more machines. You may have been in a position where you think, well, I need to buy another machine because I've got a capacity problem. But actually, I've got all this capacity here that I'm not using. The hardware we send out is a little device. You pop it on your machine. They'll identify some cables in the electrical cabinet, put a little clamp around them, completely non-destructive. And then that's them done. It'll start sending data up to us. Oh, I primarily use the timeline function. So immediately we, we found some of the cycle times to be different to what we, what we expected. It's a very good way of seeing what is going on and when. And you can see the individual instances of uptime and downtime. You can see how long they lasted for, uh, what time they started, finished. You can hover over a downtime period, zoom in on that and see exactly what went on for that time. On the shop floor, the machine shop can see that data in real time, which has been a real key driver in increasing our utilisation across the machine shop. They're able to see it on tablets on each machine. We also have some screens up around the machine shop, which are showing the, the dashboards for each machining cell and the overall machine shop. The other really useful piece of information that we've got from the Forge or platform is downtime reasons. The challenge was always trying to understand why the machines weren't running for certain periods of the day. And we basically were doing all that with pen and paper. None of them like filling in the sheets, so we've basically done automatically in the background now. And then they've got the tablets to fill in to explain why there's downtime. So it's very easy to see a pattern and to see trends or gaps within an eight hour shift, let's say when the downtimes have logged reasons, um, those reasons are specific to every customer. Within Forge, there are categories of downtimes, and then inside those categories are downtime reasons themselves. It's the downtime reasons that are shown in the timeline. You can see them against the downtime periods. You could look at this on a per machine basis over a week. You can look at it on a cell basis over a month, or you can even look at it over a, the entire factory over the course of a year if you want to. The machines that we've got for your on, you, you can see that the utilization of those has improved significantly. If you've got machines out there that any type of machine, I'm confident that the software and the, and the facilities that Forger have got will work and give you data that you didn't know you needed. It helps unite the commercial and the production side of a business. So you quote for a piece of work, and when it goes out onto the shop floor, you can then track exactly how much time you spent doing it, and you can get an accurate understanding of the cost to make that part or fulfill that order. And so next time it comes around, you can price competitively because you know what your actual production costs are. And that's really powerful for uniting that commercial and production side of your manufacturing business.